I wasn't in the service, so I shouldn't salute, right? Nah. I mean, you can. Oh. This is a YouTube channel, man. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, but I want to be respectful of people. I don't need no stolen valor people coming after me, so I don't want to. I mean, you're not claiming to be in the military, walking okay. around with a uniform and Target asking people f- think, to tell you thank you for your service, sir. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, and on that, that, <laughs> that random tangent, we are the We Trying channel. I'm Michael. That's Leroy. Uh, yeah. We talk about random stuff, uh, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, Leroy is getting a little patriotic here. Because we got a reaction to Devotion. I think that's what it's called. It is It is called Devotion. I thought um, so. It's it's by Sony. It's got Jonathan Majors. It's got Glenn Powell in it. Um, I, that's about all I know about this. Now, it's based on a true story about a naval aviator, if I remember correctly, who uh, flew during... Oh, excuse me. During the uh, Korean War. Okay. Um, and the black man who Jonathan Majors plays develops a deep bond with Glenn Powell, another okay. aviator. Um, I don't know anything more than that. I just know the it's about Jesse Brown. Um, I would say look him up to find out more because you know these movies are are kind of like they're historical fiction to a certain extent, like they're based on a true story. So they, you know, some things are taken sure. out of context. So of course they're not going to be like a true, true story. You know, they got to put some stuff together. Um, yeah. I don't know how true to the story this is, but I, it, it's a, to me, it's a good story. Okay. Um, so I, I was interested in it, especially after we just watched Top Gun and it's got Jonathan Majors in it. So I was like, Hey man, it's got King the Conqueror himself, you know, black people in planes. Let's do it. Black people in planes. You ready? Yeah. All right. You might never land in that plane. Good to know the men you're flying with. See what they're fighting for. What are you fighting for? Hoping hey. to find that out. Trying to keep up. Who was that? Um. I this cannot remember her name. Hold on. And we're up. Can't tell you how many times people have told me to give up, and quit, die even. That's why you can't always do what you're told. If I did. I wouldn't be here. Hmm. October. Okay. Okay. So that was, um... Hold on. Uh, well, while you try to figure out who that was, um, that looks cool. I got to say, and people who watch our channel as it continues to grow and whenever we put up our Top Gun review, um, any type of movie that's going to have aerial dogfighting or just airplanes in it now has a big bar to live up to. Uh, and it's going to be tough to compare to Top Gun after I've seen all the practical effects used in Top Gun. So seeing a lot of that CG stuff in that trailer is like, eh, I mean, it looks cool, but it's definitely not the same as getting that experience of seeing Top Gun. Having said that, though, I am excited to see the dynamic between Jonathan Majors and Glenn Powell as they um, 
as I kind of the, t talk about this based on an incredible true story. Uh, I like the idea of him kind of, I guess, almost psyching himself up with the negative comments that people were saying about him about, about what he could and couldn't do inside that plane. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Oh, okay. I was wrong. I thought because so mine my mine sorry my stream froze up so it looked like that was Mumi Musaka as the woman he was talking to, but that wasn't her. She's not in this movie. Christina Jackson. Looks is that like who, who that is. was? That looks like that's who it is, according to Okay, I can't yeah. I can't see right now when, when we went through it froze. And so uh, I just saw okay. So I thought that was her because it, it, it just that clip reminded me of her. It sounded like her, but she's not listed as any of the cast members. And I was kind of excited that she would be back like this six degrees of separation. She was with Jonathan Majors in uh, Lovecraft Country. And sure. then, then we got to see her in Loki. I just I thought that was her. And I was like, oh, she's getting a lot of stuff. But it wasn't. I apologize. OK, so what do you think of the trailer? Uh, oh, the part I that you saw, I guess. I liked it. Um, mm -hmm. Like you, I a lot of the practical effects. I, I'm a sucker for practical effects, uh, so I I really enjoy Top Gun Maverick. I really enjoyed uh, when Nolan does his stuff and uses real planes and blows them up. You know, mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy when these directors, tr you know, try to keep it as grounded in reality as possible. Um, I didn't mind it as much because I know it's going to be hard to get as many of those planes <laughs> to, to movie ready and uh -huh. flight ready. And I'm more interested in how Jonathan Majors portrays this story. You know, the story, um, if you go to Devotions, the IMDB page, it it's very, a pair of U.S. Navy pilots risk their lives during the Korean War and become some of the Navy's most celebrated wingmen. Um, I'm I'm interested to see if the dynamic between Jonathan Majors and Glenn Powell how that develops. We know that the Korean War was a very a very testy time uh -huh. during our country's history. They a lot of times it's called the Forgotten War um, because That's what they, they, they talked about that in the trailer. Yeah, it's it's the war. It's like for the for you for the us it's the world wars vietnam operation desert storm and it's mm -hmm. like we skip over these smaller conflicts and a lot of these veterans get passed over their stories kind of get passed over and now we're starting to hear more and more as more of these stories are being told they trickle out and i'm interested to see how close is this going to be like a real movie? Is it going to be more like a green book where they gloss over a lot of stuff? Sure. Or is it going to be more like a midway, you know, or that's kind of what I'm wondering. Like what, what kind of, the, what is the dynamic between these two characters? And are we going to see kind of a new emergence of two, two people who are pretty good actors? We know Jonathan Majors is right. Is a rising star. We know Glenn Powell. He was awesome in Top Gun. Um, his star is rising. Are they, is their acting good enough to carry this movie? The first time I saw Glenn Powell was in, uh, I want to say Scream Queens. I feel like that was him in that, right? Let's look him up. Screen Let's Queens. look him up. Yeah, Scream Queens, that show that was on Fox. Mm -hmm. um, and he was just kind of a smarmy, uh, like, dick preppy rich kid or whatever but he just he had a swagger to him which i really liked so yeah uh, i'm sure he was probably in other stuff before that but that was just the first time i remember him uh it's funny that you mentioned uh screen queens because he was in your show or your movie uh um uh sorry that's well my movie he was in expendables three that's the first time i saw him. and who was he in expendables three he was Thorn. He was oh. one of the new kids. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. So you, and so he was one of the new kids in that. Uh, but he was in uh, a couple of things. He's uh, done a couple of voiceover work. Uh, 
Okay. A couple of voiceover jobs, but a lot of people remember him from Hidden Figures. Yeah, yeah. He was John Glenn in Hidden Figures. So I for me personally, I like Glenn Powell. And I'm, I'm glad he's getting some bigger roles because, like I said, he was part of the newt. He, for me, I saw him when he broke out on the scene because if you remember, Expendables Three was the old dudes, and then this is new guard. Because mm-hmm. remember, they broke out Wesley Snipes out of jail after he actually did get out of jail for IRS, and him and Christmas went up against each other because they were both knife dudes. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going on the plot of Expendable 3 right now, and I'm sorry for those of you who are not interested in that. But anyway, um, I like those movies. I like that franchise. I thought it was dumb fun. Uh, so I'm glad to see him kind of get his rise. So, and Jonathan Majors, we know from Lovecraft Country, we um, he was amazing in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know him. Marvel has tapped him to be the next new baddie as King yeah. the Conqueror. Um, so... I'm curious to see more of the supporting cast for this movie, just to see how they play with the two primary leads, just to see what else is going around them. So we that one trailer, uh, when does this come out, Devotion? October. October, okay, cool. So we will have to wait, I guess we have to wait a few months for that to come around and, and see what's going on with that. Uh, let us know in the comments if you guys are excited about Devotion, uh, if you even knew this was coming out, because again, I didn't know this was a thing until Leroy told me. But you can leave a comment here on YouTube, but you can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitch, all those places. We try and we try and y'all. Any of those. Um, we out. Deuces. <laughs>